So in order to venture on to being a entrepreneur investor, you have to know your finances. And so it's awesome. I like this whole date today because it's going to be the whole new uh, just women question. So it's I'm loving this. So okay. what is your question that I could help you with? Well, first of all, um, I want to thank you for your time. And uh, you and your husband are just amazing. Like me and my husband started following you guys not that long ago. And our goal is to just build our mark, our pretty much like real estate portfolio as well. Um, we had a really um, bad experience before. Last year, we, we got a, a little uh, fix and flip in Texas. It's still there. Uh, the people that we were working with, I guess they didn't know what they were doing and us too, like we trusted them and we're stuck. I feel like we're stuck. So now my question is, um, where to start? Um, I'm a busy mom. I have two kids. I'm a server too. I'm a server uh, in two, uh, two restaurants, but I feel like I'm stuck. Like, I feel like I can, I can, um, I don't know where to start. First of all, especially with this market. So I'm, I'm scared to um, not fail because, I mean, the investment is there, you know. But it's just I feel like we're stuck with that um, money there. And then we're just afraid to start from scratch. So first I'm going to ask you, have you ever read the book, The Upsiders, that Bobby wrote? Um, my husband has. I'm in the process. Okay. I haven't finished it's, it though. It's a very important book for you to read because he talks about a lot of that, how uh -huh. we were stuck at one point, you know, just a hamster on a wheel. Uh -huh. So first of all, what I would advise you, I have to, I can't do this in 10 minutes, but right. just to give you little tips. And first of all, I would put my finance in order. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I have a, a little finance worksheet that I, um, I'm going to be putting out for yep. my uh, viewers and people that are joining a new um, mastermind that I'm creating for women. Okay. Um, and the finances are very, very important because okay. you need to first know where you stand in your finance in order for you to be able to move on to start okay. investing, start creating the second revenue of entrepreneurship or whatever it is that that second revenue is going to be. I know you have two jobs, but those are jobs. Those right. are not entrepreneurs or investment um, ventures, right? Right. So in order to venture on to being a entrepreneur investor, you mm -hmm. have to know your finances because okay. you can't start being an entrepreneur or an investor if you don't have your finances in order. Money okay. does not grow out of a tree and being an entrepreneur and investors, money does not start coming in immediately. You're actually okay. putting out money constantly at the very beginning. So, you can't, that's why you feel like, where do I start? I'm working two jobs. I want to invest. My investment went wrong. You need to first organize that. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm going to put here, I'm going to owe you the, um, that spreadsheet that I have that helps a lot of people how to okay. organize your finances. Okay. okay. Thank you. So that's first thing. Second of all, the investment that you did in Texas. Did you even understand what you were going to do? How would the investment, did you have your strategies? Did you know going in that you were going to put X amount of money? How long the revenue, the revenue, um, the uh, revenue, yeah. uh, oh my God, <laughs> construction was going to go on. Do you know all of that? Did you have that planned? Um, we, we didn't, we went, uh, you know, what other people tell us, like I said, Oh yeah, it's gonna be in uh, six months investment, and then you know, and then it just everything went wrong. Did you and do? Then, so mm -hmm. I have a course that I'm coming out with that it's gonna probably be in, in the next before thirty days for sure. I'll be okay. out, and I have a lot of one-on-one -on -one type of style of learning how to invest in real estate. It's uh -huh. more into the multifamily, but it still works with single family. Um, understanding the strategy. So once I come with that, you know, that comes out, that's going to help you a lot because it's a very beginner's how to understand how to invest yeah. for long-term or short-term. So that's okay. going to be something that you should look out for. But 
when you invested in this first property, you did it as a partnership with someone else? Yes. So you totally just blind eyed. Here's my money. Go invest and you do whatever you got to do. I don't know the business, but here's my money. I had a little idea. Um, I took a master, uh, a master class, a uh, real estate master class where same thing, you know, like I just went uh, because uh, this person went to this mastermind and I paid like 15000 that I, I feel like all the information I could have just grabbed it out there, like in books, you know. So, um, like I said, it was my mistake. Yeah, I, um, I just went. Just going for it with blind eyes, pretty much. So that's I had a, a little idea. Learned. Yeah, I had a little idea, but I did not have like a hundred percent, you know. Um, yeah. So we call they, I, we have a thing that we I'm sure you heard stack and rack. Uh huh. So stack and rack is two things: stacking your money and right. racking it into investment. But the ones that don't know the stacking is all the knowledge you could get before you rack that money into an investment. Real estate right. is not as easy as everyone thinks. Everybody right. thinks I'm going to buy a property. I'm going to be able to do it because it's just real estate. I could buy it. I could sell it and I'm going to become a millionaire. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. that's not the way it works. Real estate is a very complex business. It is a business. It's just like running a store, a restaurant, a gym or whatever. It's a business. It's just not. I'm going to stick my money in there and I'm going to put water in it and it's going to grow a tree sure. of money. That's not the way it goes. So you have right. to make sure. But again, this is a good lesson. As long as you learn from that lesson, because all of our failures was what allowed us to get where we're at today, because right. we learned from those failures. We didn't drown in a glass of water, cry or throw more sand over our heads. What we did was, okay, what did we do wrong in this failure? Why did we fail? And our okay. first failure was very similar to yours, but just in a very big scale. We had the money. We understood. We thought we understood real estate. And we did with our, our my, you know, blinded. Here's all of our money and we're going to follow you. Well, they didn't know what they were doing as well. They were just pretending right. that they knew. Right. right. So. What did that, but from that failure, we were able to create a portfolio of multifamily that today, you know, it's worth $750 million from right. that mistake. Right. Right. Yeah. So it's okay. You could, every, nobody's perfect. But my only advice to you is that please, before you do any more investments, understand what you're doing before you do it. Even if you're going to give your money to somebody, understand what that person knows. Make sure right. you underwrite that jockey. What I want to sit down with you and give me your um, background. I want to know how much real estate investments you've done. How much have you flipped? Right. How much do you know about landlord? Do you know management? Do you know, what do you know? Depending also a, a person that does fix and flips mm -hmm. will not understand long-term hold multifamily rentals. Or a person that does multifamily rentals is not going to understand the Airbnb model, right? So every real estate investment is so different depending on what industry you're investing in. So make sure right. that the industry that you're investing in, number one, that you understand it A through Z. And if you're going to have a partner that's going to be the leader, that you understand what they know. And how do they run that business? Because you might have two different business model or run businesses completely different. They might think it's the right way, but the way that you understand it is a complete different way. But there's two different models. So right. even collaborating together, is it going to match? Is this a good jockey for me to have on my team? Right. Very important. So right. right now, I would have to probably have another call with you because I would need to know more about your, that property, where it's at, what was the intent of it? You know, how much did you put into it? Where is it at? Why is it still sitting there? I mean, there's so many things I would have to go through to really give you a valuable advice. Okay. Right. Cause I don't want to just tell you, Hey, go and put it on the market or I don't know. Is it a fix and flip that you had? It was a fix and flip. Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, and, and why is it still sitting? Well, what the agent is saying that the markets it's not um I mean the high interest people are not qualifying. That's what she's saying. But I just feel like she's not, you know, giving it like a hundred percent effort. And are you fifty fifty or what? Well we're um there are so us, me and my husband and then two more. So we're like forty percent pretty much. Okay. Have you sat down yeah. with the partners and say, Hey guys, this realtor is not working. We've had this property sitting. Let's interview three more people and we all come back and we put it, you know, and let's see who else could be. This is now money that we're losing because of one realtor. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not yeah. the, the right thing to do right now. But again, like I said, I would have to sit with you and look a little bit longer to be able to really give you a solid advice on what to do. Right. Okay. Sounds good. Well, that helped me a lot anyways. Thank yeah, you and so if, much. Uh, you know, look out for the course. Um, okay. And I'm also going to create a mastermind for women. So look out for it because it's going to be coming out soon, which you could come in and it's going to really be emphasized on entrepreneurship, relationships, and real estate. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope it helps you. And like I said, I'll send me an email or send the team an email and I'll send you this um spreadsheet that's going to okay. help you a lot for your personal financials and then you could then help yourself in business okay sounds good so just send you an email on, on the same Please. email i received yes. okay yes. sounds good thank you so much Bea. you're I very welcome i hope you have an awesome day you too god bless you thank you